The fight of the snake and the big cat is a battle of opposites. The lion relies on paw strikes. The snake has no limbs, but it has poison. Even one bite from a cobra is enough to turn a lion from a king of beasts into a cripple. Convulsions, foaming from the mouth. Every breath is difficult. And then the lungs simply fail. And all of this because of a couple of drops of poison. Scared? The lions are panicking too. That's why they hate snakes. Lions are used to fierce battles. A magnificent mane is not an ornament, but something like armor. The claws of other predators just get stuck in it and can't get to the throat. In addition, lions have a very strong body and an excellent ability to resist infections. Because during fights, males can inflict a dozen crushing blows on one another. Anyone could leave a deep trace of sharp claws even on a steel plate. But most of the damage will heal in a few days. Such regeneration would be the envy of Wolverine. However, poison is an ultimatum weapon and is on a completely different level, affecting the victim's body from the inside. Whatever the lion is, after a single bite from a cobra or a black mamba, he's doomed. Why? The fact is that snake venom has a complex chemical structure. Surprisingly, the organs that secrete it are descended from ordinary salivary glands. Therefore, snake venom is modified saliva that has received a lot of additives. Each species has its own chemical composition of poison, but those snakes that possess neurotoxins most often intersect with large cats. The effect of this poison looks very frightening. For example, a black mamba bite causes a series of involuntary muscle contractions. The poisoned victim is shocked. She feels that her own body has literally rebelled against her. Convulsions, pain, involuntary movements. The animal from fright can only twitch harder, trying to shake off the effect of the poison. But gradually, the condition worsens. The fact is that the main danger is the impact on specific muscle groups. On those muscles that can take part in breathing. For most animals, it is a reflex process. But still certain muscles are constantly involved in breathing. Just animals, like humans, usually do not pay attention to it. So, a special toxin in the venom of a mamba and cobra plays the role of a neuroblocker. It simply does not allow the nervous system to signal the continuation of contractions of these muscles. As a result, the lungs gradually fail. Surprisingly, it turns out that with all the differences, the main weapon of both snakes and cats is strangulation. It's just that lions block the access of oxygen mechanically by clamping the trachea with their jaws and snakes strangle more cunningly and cruelly, poisoning the body. However, this is only one of the components of the complex action of the poison. In addition to the gradual cessation of breathing, it also has a devastating effect on the cardiac system, sometimes causing necrosis of the tissues around the bite site. While well, the bonus is burning pain, swelling, a state of general poisoning. By the way, people feel the same way, so we should avoid the experience of close communication with these reptiles at all costs. There are several types of snakes that can deal with a lion. This is not only a cobra or a black mamba, but also a python, a blue crate, and several types of vipers. But lions are real fighters. They know the price of even one bite, so they try to avoid getting snake throws at any cost. And oddly enough, they succeed. In addition to skirmishes with venomous snakes, they also often fight with pythons. In a fight with the most dangerous snakes, wild cats are often defeated. But panthers have their trump cards. 
For all their massiveness, lions, and especially females, can boast of lightning-fast reactions. They take advantage of their size to tower over the snake and attack from unexpected angles and sides for the reptile. In this way, they try to stun the enemy. Interestingly enough, in this case, big cats rely little on brute force and do not try to solve the case with one blow. They slowly drive the snake out of itself, exhaust it, and only then, when its movements become sluggish, finish it off. Not every confrontation with a legless reptile and a big cat ends with the victory of the latter, but the lions have a good chances. So it's not just the mongoose and the honey badger that are enemies of African snakes. The most agile big cat is a leopard. This predator is inferior in size not only to lions and tigers, but also to jaguars and even many cougars, which generally do not belong to panthers, but to small cats. There is a rare record where an adult cheetah chases a young leopard, although usually the opposite is true. However, do not think that leopards are fearful animals. They're just careful. But if lions and tigers are such men who are something like heavily armed knights of the animal world, then the leopard, of course, is a secret spy, scout, and ranger who has maximized agility, stealth, and of course, charisma. Therefore, leopards not only successfully fight snakes, protecting their lair, but also hunt these reptiles themselves. The most impressive thing is a duel with the enemy in dense thickets. The leopard has to calculate every move. The slightest mistake could end for him fatally. The leopard literally picks out the enemy, who is constantly trying to bite with poisonous teeth. And who are you rooting for? Answer in the comments, and don't forget to give this video a like. The such brave warriors fully deserve it. Leopards are cats that are agile and strong enough to fight the biggest pythons on the planet. Even if the reptile exceeds the panther twice the length of its body, the leopard will not be deterred. The python has no poison, but during the battle it tries to grab the enemy with its teeth. The python's fangs are directed backwards, they are numerous and very sharp like needles, so it is extremely difficult to escape from such a grip and avoid serious damage. If the python can cling tightly, it immediately proceeds to the next step. It tries to wrap itself around the victim, using muscles throughout its body. The snake resembles a huge steel cable, only alive and bloodthirsty. If the reptile is able to carry out its plan, then the leopard will have no chance. After all, the snake will be able to immobilize it. Therefore, a big cat should be extremely careful not to make a single mistake. She tries on for a long time to strike one blow for which the stake is life. A lightning throw and the snake's head is in the leopard's mouth. <clears throat> the cat immediately pulls back the reptile's body so that it cannot wriggle out. When hunting other mammals, Leopards rarely try to bite through the cervical arteries. Much more often, they strangle the victim. Therefore, they know exactly how to grab by the throat so that the enemy is instantly helpless. Due to the fact that the cat has found the right place to grab with jeweler's precision, the snake simply cannot physically get out and bite back. Let's open up a secret for you all. This place is the back of the snake's head, the base of its neck. If you grab the reptile there, it will no longer be able to use its teeth and will not get it. This technique is used by biologists and serpentologists who catch snakes, as well as researchers who collect venom. Yes, you got it right. Snake venom is harvested by hand, even in the 21st century. No high-tech strays are suitable for such fine work. And during the collection of venom, the snake is held by the same point that the leopard grabbed. How did he know about it? The advantage of the snake in this duel is the length of its body and its enormous strength. Unfortunately, sometimes that's enough to ruin a panther's lair. 
if an adult can still escape from a snake, then kittens are completely helpless against the reptile. And adult panthers can also be defeated and become a hearty meal for the python. On the other hand, the advantage of the cat is not only agility, but also growth. She looks at the enemy from above and anticipates his movements. If necessary, the leopard can bounce a few feet away without running and almost instantly. In addition, just as a python's teeth are bent inside its mouth to hold prey, so a leopard's claws are not just cold weapons for wounding, but also hooks, which, thanks to a steep bend, can perfectly restrain even the effort of such powerful muscles as a snake seven to eight feet long, two to two and a half meters. In addition, the strength of the leopard should not be underestimated. He may be smaller than a lion, but he can jump to the top of a tree crown with an antelope in his teeth in a couple of jumps. If a person had such strength, he could jump to the second floor holding, for example, a scooter in his hands. The biggest and strongest wildcat is the tiger. For comparison, the lion's mass reaches 440 to 500 pounds, 200 to 250 kilograms, while the tiger's mass is 680 pounds, about 300 kilograms. This makes the tiger larger than most bears. And at the same time, such a mass is muscles hardened by hunting, not fat. Therefore, the speed of the tiger's throw, as well as his reaction, is simply amazing. You don't expect such sharp, strong, and fast movements from such a large animal. So, the snakes are in shock. However, power and speed are not the only advantages of tigers and cats in general. Snakes are perfectly adapted to look for prey. They compensate for the lack of hearing with another sensory organ. This is thermal vision. Yes, snakes can see like a predator. Reptiles not only perceive infrared radiation, but also react precisely to the heat that the victim's body emits. And some snakes are even able to understand by the strength of the radiation in which direction and at what distance the prey is located. Along with sensitivity to vibration, in fact, snakes actually crawl on their stomachs and the area of contact of the body with the ground is very large. This turns them into living sensors. A cool advantage for finding prey and for hunting, but not for a fight. During a duel, especially if both opponents are acting at high speed, it is extremely important to notice the blow in time and have time to react. And for this, you need the ability to assess the distance, depth, and angle of movement well. Snakes, although they have good eyesight, are still inferior in this respect to cats. You know the tigers and other cats can see in the dark several times better than humans, right? Twilight and even an impenetrable night for us are not a problem for them. But this is not the only side of their supervision. Another trump card is binocularity. That is, the cat's eyes are located in front of the muzzle and the snakes on the side. The tiger has a smaller field of vision, but thanks to binocularity, he is able to perfectly estimate the distance to the target of the strike. In addition, the tiger reacts instantly to movement. As a result, we have a real fighting machine, which is capable not only of knocking down a buffalo with one blow, but also of fighting with such an unusual and dangerous opponent as a large snake. There is even a very old documentary record where such a confrontation takes place. The tiger is still young. He still has to grow up to the size of an adult. But the python is huge, about 25 feet, 8 meters. Their confrontation looks very frightening. The tiger is not only young, but also completely inexperienced. He has not yet encountered such large snakes and does not know how they behave in battle. That's why he lets the python entangle him. A huge reptile bites into the cat and tries to squeeze it in its arms, break its ribs, strangle, and eat it. If there were any other animal of the same size in place of the tiger, the snake would get a delicious lunch. But the tiger does not give up. The weight of the python exceeds the mass of the cat, but the striped predator manages not only to continue the fight, but even to get up and throw off the dangerous snake rings. The tiger is breaking free. The cat retreats, but the main thing is that she saved her life. 
Or here are some more shots, this time from the zoo. The message stated that the cobra managed to sting the tiger, but in the video, the cat overcame the snake and carries it as prey. Interestingly enough, this is a rare white tiger. They are not albinos because they have black stripes on their skin. These animals are huge, strong, and look very noble. It is not surprising that even without combat experience, this tiger from the zoo was not afraid to attack a poisonous snake. In general, large wildcats differ not only in size and color, but also in character. Leopards are the most cruel and bloodthirsty among them. Lions are the most territorial. They will drive away from their territory even predators that hunt a completely different prey. Just to keep them out of sight. Tigers are the most cautious. These are solitary predators. Yeah, they're the biggest and strongest, but they know perfectly well that no one needs to look for trouble. Of course, for the sake of protecting her offspring from the legless monster, the tigress will attack with all her fury and strength. But in other circumstances, they would rather avoid a skirmish. Therefore, if a well-fed tiger sees an adult python, it will most likely just go the other way. What do you think about this behavior? Is this cowardice or a smart act? Perhaps it is to protect against enemies such as large cats that some cobras have developed a unique long-range attack mechanism. We are talking about snakes that can spit venom over a long distance. Several subspecies of cobra have this ability. During this hunt, they do not use this ability. It is useless. But it fits perfectly to protect against the threat. Interestingly enough, the ability to spit is more effectively against the large predators for the simple reason that because of their size, it is easier to get into them than into a mongoose. So, the channels through which the poison is excreted in such cobras are arranged a little differently than in ordinary snakes. These channels are facing forward. The cobra traditionally rises vertically above the ground and tries to scare off the enemy by straightening its hood. If it doesn't work out, she contracts special muscles with which she injects poison from her mouth under great pressure. The poison flies at a distance of up to 10 feet, more than three meters, so that the snake can attack the enemy from afar even before he gets close to the strike distance. But the most interesting thing is the manner of using poison. The fact is that the poison is not an acid, but a protein compound with many complex toxins. If it gets on the surface of bare skin, it can only cause mild irritation. And if the skin is covered with fur, then even less sense. Then what is the point of such a weapon? The fact is that the venom of the spitting cobra has an increased caustic force, and the snake shoots them accurately into the eyes of the enemy. If the poison gets there, it will cause terrible pain, live from a chemical burn. A sufficient amount of poison can even permanently deprive vision due to damage to the lens and cornea. Moreover, the lions do not carry protective glasses or washing water with them. To be sure to hit the eyes, the snake will make smooth, fan-like movements during shooting. So, individual drops of the toxin will fall on as large as an area of the lesion as possible. Panthers are lions, tigers, leopards, jaguars, and snow leopards. They are called big cats, but the main thing that unites them is not the size, but the structure of the skull into the number of common features. Among the cats, which in contrast are called small, there are species that are almost as large and heavy as panthers. These are cheetahs, and their closest relatives, cougars, and they also don't mind fighting with a large snake. For example, this cougar, which is even larger than the Asian leopard. She noticed a huge adult python and it immediately headed towards it. The cat clearly has no experience of fighting with such reptiles because she just goes into a frontal attack and tries to bite the snake in the middle of the trunk. Any experienced snake catcher here will just make a facepalm like Captain Picard from Star Trek. 
In fact, the experienced cougar herself was exposed to the python's fangs, but fortunately the reaction speed did not let the cat down. The snake just didn't have time to reach her. This fight ended in a draw, but you can be sure that when the cougar becomes a little more mature, snakes will definitely be a part of her menu. One of the best snake hunters among cats is the lynx. This wildcat is often underestimated because it has not the most impressive size due to its relatively short body, very short tail, and very secretive nature. But at the same time, the lynx is able to overcome an adult deer, and catching a poisonous snake for her is like winning a contest at a friend's birthday party, and entertainment, and a delicious prize in the final. Such confidence in the lynx's ability has its foundation. It's all about very long paws with large pads and extremely strong claws. The manner of hunting a snake and a lynx is not at all the same as, for example, in a mongoose. No jaw attack until the very end of the battle, just the paws. With them, the lynx strikes from different sides at different angles. At the same time, the cat constantly burps and makes sure that the snake does not get too close. Such caution is a severe necessity. On the territory of North America, the most venomous snakes are rattlesnakes. Their venom is very different from the poison used by cobras or black mambas. The fact is that not all snakes have neurotoxins. Many types of rattlesnakes are armed with poison which acts primarily on the blood. These are so-called hemotoxins that destroy red and other blood cells, cause internal bleeding, and hemorrhages in various organs. The body seems to be being destroyed from the inside. While it's worth adding various bonuses to this, terrible pain, loss of orientation, nausea, symptoms of poisoning. In short, the accuracy of the lynx is the key to its survival. And it is all the more amazing how the cat develops its attack. The snake is trying to hide, but the lynx not only strikes, but also catches it with its claws. When the reptile is about to bite its poisonous teeth to the paw, the lynx immediately releases it, but the snake never gets a chance to escape. Gradually, the cat pulls out the opponent and then picks up the claws right under the skull. Then the decisive bite, a bid at the cost of life. If the snake had escaped, it would have bitten the lynx right in the nose, and that would have stopped our hero's heart in a couple of minutes. But fortunately for the lynx, it has grasped the reptile securely enough and manages to grab its head with its fangs. In a few minutes of hunting, the lynx received a supply of food which will last her until the end of the day. Servals are wild cats that are inferior to cougars and cheetahs in size and strength. But at the same time, the paws are very long relative to the body with a slender, lean, muscular body. To this, it is worth adding unusually fast reflexes speed of movement and flexibility, even by cat standards. So fighting an angry serval is like trying to extinguish a burning garment without taking it off. Maybe you'll be lucky, maybe not, but it will hurt in any case. After all, servals do not retreat even in a battle with a larger opponent. However, no matter how impressive a serval duel against a larger cheetah looked, this fight can hardly be compared with the epicness of a duel between a large poisonous snake and a serval. The cat acts very smartly. He carefully approaches the poisonous snake and raises his paw very high, with which he will strike. All of them are trial at first. With them, he simply checks how easy it will be easy to deal with the reptile, as well as how quickly it will attack in response. The snake makes its throws almost instantly, but the jumping serval is too far away. He manages to reflexively bounce away from danger. Gradually, he pushes the snake away and exhausts it. A cold-blooded creature has much less stamina. Every throw is a big effort for her, whereas a serval could ride like that for another hour and a half, but he doesn't have to do it. 
Another trial blow proves that the snake is already exhausted. She came within a hair's breadth of biting into the serval half a dozen times, but the cat escaped her venom and went to the end with the endurance of a real warrior. As a result, the serval grabs the snake with its jaws almost effortlessly right behind the head. Her poisonous teeth are no longer a threat to him. The sand cat only looks like a pet that accidentally drifted into the desert. This is a wild and very ferocious predator, which is tempered by sultry winds and is not afraid of the fiercest heat. There is not enough food in the desert, so those who hunt there have become real masters in their field. And this kid is no exception. The horned desert viper is a dangerous reptile whose venom can easily cope not only with this cat, but also with a much larger animal. In addition, moving through the hot sand made the horned viper especially agile. Firstly, she knows how to crawl sideways, carefully making sure that the relatively small area of contact on her body with the surface does not cause her any inconvenience. In addition, she learned to hiss with the help of her whole body. It has relatively small scales, and when the snake is irritated, it curls up in half rings and rubs the curves of the body against each other, giving out a sound that resembles a loud hiss. Its scales are like fine sandpaper, so this snake is one of the few well-protected legless reptiles. And finally, she can literally burrow herself into the sand in 100 seconds so that she becomes almost invisible. Not a bad arsenal, don't you agree? But the sand cat doesn't care about that. It's unclear where the internet came from in the desert, but the predator acts exactly according to the percepts of Ariana Grande. I want it, I got it. The cat saw the snake, and the cat goes on the attack. Zero hesitation, zero reflection. The viper is no less severe and immediately goes into battle. Because of the habit of moving sideways, she has particularly well-developed lateral muscles, with which she shoots her head with poisonous teeth. This makes the throw of such a reptile especially dangerous. But the cat seems to be synchronized with the viper. Just look, it seems that he starts jumping away even before the snake rushes to attack. It is unclear whether the cat has some kind of telepathy or was able to recognize the impending blow by the minimally noticeable tension of the snake's body. But it looks impressive. If a person had such a reaction, he could dodge a bullet, instinctively calculating its trajectory by the position of the barrel of the gun. When a sand cat hits a snake, it strikes blows that should drive the snake out of itself and make it spend a lot of energy on defense. But it's not like that. It turns out that even such fast sand cat strikes are a very dangerous weapon. Thanks to incredibly sharp claws, he opens the scales of a snake like a knife opens a can of canned food. Thanks to this, the viper loses its strength even faster and becomes a tasty prey for the predator. The most common domestic cats are often underestimated when it comes to fighting snakes. Not only rodents, but also reptiles were the prey of the most common domestic cats. These brave animals, even after thousands of years of living next to a person in relatively comfortable conditions, seeing a snake, most likely, will not run away. But on the contrary, they will take the fight and attack themselves, even against a cobra. Although cats, unlike mongooses, have no resistance to poison, they bravely fight using virtually the same tactics as lions and leopards. Constant attacks with paws at different angles, lightning-fast return of the paw after hitting the snakes so that it does not have time to bite, attempts to pull the enemy, stretch by the tail, so if you also have such a little hunter at home, treat him with respect. Who knows? Maybe, while you're sleeping, he saves you from uninvited legless guests who often crawl into human homes. In general, cats are considered special pets for a reason. 
Their hunting instincts have not lost their sharpness at all for thousands of years next to a man. According to statistics, those domestic cats that go outside of homes and walk around the city hunt not only often, but also successfully. They have a higher percentage of caught prey than the panthers. At the same time, they do not necessarily hunt weaker animals. Cats catch large birds, rats, which can fight back even medium-sized dogs. And also cats attack snakes. At the same time, it is not hunger that pushes them, but the desire to fight and perhaps territorial instinct. Cats recognize snakes as a potential threat and instead of running away, boldly go into battle so as not to be caught off guard later if the snake crawls too close unnoticed. Sometimes cats can bring home their prey. And if it's a snake, then the owner is in for a real shock. Just look at this cat. He does not understand at all why his prey caused such a storm of emotions. For him, a fight with a poisonous snake is an ordinary Tuesday. But the most shocking thing is the behavior of ordinary domestic cats in a fight with snakes. Most other cats, even large panthers, attack the snake with their paws, and when the reptile rushes in response, they retreat and pull their limbs. But the most ordinary domestic cat acts the opposite way. It waits for the snack to attack, and instead of jumping away, it hits back on the fly. That is, he meets the snake's head with his paw. The cat acts with incredible accuracy and manages to strike from above or from the side, away from the poisonous teeth, so that the snake is forced to retreat. So the next time you watch an action game where a warrior hits or catches arrows, know that domestic cats are really capable of something very, very similar. The first look at this kitten makes the heart beat faster because of the experiences. And I want to help the baby whose neck is wrapped around a snake. It seems that this cold-blooded nasty reptile will eat a little more from the kitten. Relax, if anyone needed help here, it was the snake. Even a very young domestic kitten managed to grab her by the head. Yeah, she wrapped her arms around his neck and torso, but this is already in agony. The kitten not only overcame the snake, but also does not want to share the prey at all, so he refuses help and goes away from the owner so that he does not meddle in other people's affairs. If you think that a domestic cat is afraid to fight a python, then you are mistaken. A tiger will think twice before messing with such a reptile. But a house cat behaves like some kind of adrenaline-addicted biker and without hesitation goes to meet such adventures. The python climbed into the farm in search of easy prey and clearly did not expect such unhealthy interest in itself from seemingly weaker animals. Snakes are three times bigger than a cat, but this does not stop our mustachioed predator. The funny thing is that after seeing the cat's bravery, the local chickens also decided to approach the python. The snake is clearly in shock. She's big and scary, everybody should be afraid of her. But clearly not in this place. The snake was lucky that the owner of the farm decided to make fun of his fluffy gladiator and scared him from behind. Moreover, the cat, focused on the prey, jumped from fright, not from the python, but directly at him. And this cobra smelled kittens, Small, helpless lumps of wool would be a laconic and simple prey for her, if it wasn't for mom. As you understand, if ordinary cats without a doubt go to fight with snakes, then the female is ready for real feats for the sake of protecting her offspring. And indeed, the hood of the cobra does not frighten her at all. A series of lightning strikes, which Anthony Joshua would envy, make the cobra try to escape. But even a buffalo couldn't survive her bites. But for a cat, a snake is not such a problem. What happens if a person tries to beat a grizzly bear with his fists? There is about the same difference in size between a cat and a boa constrictor. But if you bet on a reptile, then we can only sympathize. After all, this cat attacked the boa constrictor with such fury that the reptile had to run away. 
Just look at his stubbornness. The cat repelled the first attack and instead of stopping, clung to the python's side. And then he bit its tail. Now the snake will remember for a long time that this territory is forbidden for it. Do not think that snakes are whipping boys. Often they manage to win in such battles and the result of such a confrontation looks terrible. But this only emphasizes the courage of cats. This is one of the most exciting battles of cats against snakes, which only got on camera. At the same time, in a confrontation with an adult and a large python about 7 feet 2 meters long, not some tiger or at least a leopard, but a wild small cat, which in size is only slightly larger than your pet. In a direct fight with a creature that is almost 10 times larger than her, the cat has no chance. The only way to survive is to take up a blind defense in the narrow passage of your lair. But even so, the snake is likely to overcome the enemy. Why doesn't the cat just run away? For the kittens, of course. If she tries to take out one, the python will immediately pounce on the others. My mother's devotion is admirable, as are her fighting skills. The python smelled prey and began to climb the hill. The cat rebuffed him in a place where the snake could not use the full length of his body. A smart, tactful move. But this monster's head alone is like half the cat. However, she is not only incredibly fast, but also strong. Surprisingly, she was able to throw the python down. However, he does not get up and rises again. The cat jumps out of the can and her kittens are defenseless. They huddle against the far wall of the cave, anticipate reprisals, and squeak in fright. And the mother is coming back. She didn't throw them, she just decided to attack the snake from above. And it's even more risky, because he could have grabbed her and strangled her. Fortunately, he fails, and the snake retreats again. But not for long. The cat is exhausted, and the python is still full of energy. He crawls inside, and the cat gives him the last fight. She spins, scratches, and tries to throw off the python, which has dug into her with huge jaws. She repels this attack, but the python has penetrated too deeply into the hole. Fortunately, this wild cat has set up a den close enough to people. <clears throat> when you watched documentaries and saw violent moments, you probably wondered why the film crew wouldn't help. It turns out that they adhere to the principle of non-interference. But these men do not. Therefore, they did not hesitate to come to the aid of the wild cat and drag the python really far away. Who knows, maybe they also cooked some snake soup behind the scenes. Would you step in to help the animal protect its offspring? Answer in the comments. The most epic and cool confrontation of cats and snakes takes place in the Amazon River Basin. It's about an ancient war between anacondas and jaguars. Everyone claims to be the main predator on this continent. And everyone has been trying to prove their superiority in battle for more than 1,000 years. The jaguar is the largest predatory beast of South America. With a mass of about 220 pounds, almost 100 kilograms, it is more than twice the size of a leopard. These are average, known predators that grew up to 330 pounds, 150 kilograms, with the length of more than 6 feet, almost 2 meters, excluding the tail. At the same time, the jaguar is very massive, muscular, and more fit than the lion. Jaguars stand out in a very brutal way of hunting. If most other panthers strangle, then the jaguar, like some tigers, breaks the victim's neck. In addition, these spotted cats often bite through the base of the neck and crush the vertebrae of the victim. The reason for this behavior is pragmatic. The fact is that large ungulates do not make up the majority of their diet. Jaguars often have to hunt armored game such as caimans and alligators. Strangulation cannot cope with them, and you have to break your neck. Also, the behavior of a predator has its own characteristics. Jaguars are avid loners, but they are tolerant of their fellows. If the boundaries of the territory of lion prides, lions and tigers rest against each other, 
then the hunting grounds of jaguars may partially overlap, and when they meet, they are quite tolerant of their own kind. But cougars do not tolerate cougars, and battles often break out between these predators. The cougar is weaker and smaller, but often behaves more aggressively. So in their rivalry, jaguars mostly still lead, but not always. By the way, it's curious, but jaguars are also extremely loyal to people. No, it will not be possible to make friends and even more so to tame them. But very few cases of attacks on a person have been recorded. And almost never heard of is cannibalism, unlike the same with leopards and tigers, which occasionally, but perceive a person as a potential dinner. By the way, have you ever heard of a black panther? So, this is not a separate species, but a common name for leopards and jaguars, which do not have a spotted, but a dark skin. It is rarely monotonously black, and usually has a dark brown color on which spots still stand out. At the same time, the leopard and the jaguar do not intersect in nature, since they live in different hemispheres. As for the anaconda, everything is simple here. It is one of the largest and strongest snakes on the planet. It can reach a length of more than 32 feet, 10 meters, and there is evidence of individuals that are almost one and a half times larger. A real, prehistoric giant. During the hunt, the anaconda grabs the victim, squeezes it with rings, and crushes its ribs. Strangulation of this crude attack can only be called very conditionally. These huge reptiles feel especially free in the water, but they also climb trees and do not perfectly disguise themselves among the foliage in the forest substrate. Jaguar and anaconda lived in approximately the same area and hunt the same prey, perceiving each other as part of the menu. The jaguar-anaconda duel is an important part of local folklore because people watched this confrontation with trepidation. And indeed, it looks incredibly epic. Skirmishes often occur in shallow water or on the banks of rivers. Powerful blows of clawed paws raise small waves. Anaconda tries to grasp the nimble enemy as securely as possible in order to paralyze and immobilize before the fatal end. The jaguar breaks free and tries to get to the enemy's head with its fangs. Here, everything depends on whether the anaconda can squeeze the jaguar's paws and stop it by leaning with all its weight. If so, she will celebrate the victory and eat the enemy, after which she will be able to do without food for a couple of weeks. If the jaguar does not allow itself to be immobilized and can get back to the back of the enemy's head, it will overcome even a huge anaconda, which is three times larger than it. If both animals are adults, then the only chances are almost equal, except with a slight advantage for the jaguar, but only on one condition, if the anaconda is not at depth. Jaguars swim well, but they need support to fight. But for an anaconda, water is an ally, because it is the snake feels freer and can dive for a long time to entangle the enemy faster. So if an anaconda catches a jaguar swimming across the river, the chances of a wild cat are extremely small. In general, if cats or snakes had an unambiguous advantage in a fight against each other, then some of them would simply not have survived to our times. As it is, their rivalry is almost equal. A small advantage remains for the cats due to their agility and speed. But one mistake? and either the poison will gradually stop the heart of even the most powerful wildcat, or the terrible embrace of a python. And who are you rooting for in this confrontation? Answer in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot to show you all.